where you are. I mean, we literally have people on from all over the world already on here. Um, I'm telling you guys, we got we got some fire on our hands right now. Things are just taking off all over the world. And uh, if you're brand new, we're going to share with you not just Bit Club Network, but something that's literally changing the world, and that's Bitcoin. And I just want to make really, really, really clear, Bitcoin and Bit Club Network are two different entities. And by the time we're done here, I think you're going to see, like a lot of us, that Bitcoin has the potential to be as big or bigger than the Internet over the next 10, 15, 20 years. And myself, and I know Joe, we remember back, you know, 15 to 20 years ago when everybody had heard of the Internet, but only one or two people, or one or two percent of people were actually using the Internet. I even saw a video clip recently that was Good Morning America with Brian Gumbel and some other people on there. And they were like, you know, this thing, the Internet, everybody's talking about. And they had an email address up, and they were like, yeah, what's that little A with the circle around it? I don't know what that is. I don't get it. And, you know, why would I send an email? I can just talk to you. And, you know, like, nobody got it with the Internet yet. It took time to catch on. But now the world couldn't function without the Internet. It, it, it completely changed the world. And Bitcoin is the exact same thing, but with money. And it's the world's first decentralized currency. And let me explain what I mean by that. When I say decentralized currency, I mean nobody runs or controls Bitcoin. It was actually developed by a guy named Satoshi Nakamoto. And he first put out the white paper in the end of 2008 on a cryptography board. Um, with a bunch of very high-level programmers that do cryptography. And they all love the concept. And so we launched Bitcoin. And all of these people, just a handful of people, started playing with Bitcoin and trading Bitcoins back and forth and mining for Bitcoin, which we'll talk about here in just a few minutes. And it was just a fun thing. And one day, something changed. One day, a guy from the U.S. says on the board, I'm willing to give 10,000 Bitcoins to somebody that will buy me a pizza. And a guy from London says, I'll buy you a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins. Where do you live? What pizza delivery place do you want it from? And he goes, I want Papa John's. And the guy called up the local Papa John's, and he bought him two medium pizzas for 10 bucks or whatever it was delivered to the guy, and that guy sent him 10,000 Bitcoins. And that's the first transaction that anyone really knows of happening with Bitcoin. At that point, people started going, hey, yeah, we can start you know, trading this. And people started wanting it. And people go, hey, I'll give you a penny for a Bitcoin. I'll give you two pennies for a Bitcoin. I'll give you three pennies for a Bitcoin. And that's where it started taking shape as far as having monetary value. And over time, the value has risen and risen and risen, all based on people wanting to buy and sell it. Now, Bitcoin is not like a regular currency where a government could print as much currency as they want at any time, flood the market. That cannot happen with Bitcoin. In fact, Bitcoin is more along the lines of gold and gold mining in the sense of and we'll go through the mining part here in just a few minutes. But there's only so much Bitcoin in circulation. At the minute, at the, at the minute it's about 13.5 million Bitcoin. And every 10 minutes, 25 new Bitcoin go into circulation. So 3,600 new Bitcoin every day. But here in a year or so, that's going to go in half. So half as much new Bitcoin will go into circulation. And then eventually half as much will go into circulation. Eventually half and half and half and half. When eventually in the year 2140, there will be 21 million Bitcoin and there will be no new Bitcoin going in circulation whatsoever. So even though Bitcoin is digital, it's very rare. And the only way anyone can get Bitcoin is to buy it from somebody that's willing to sell it. So 
the price of Bitcoin is completely set by buyers and sellers, no central entity whatsoever. So when Satoshi Nakamoto, when he put Bitcoin on the internet, it's installed there forever. It's never going to go away. Even if the price of Bitcoin, oh, by the way, if you're curious how much Bitcoin costs right now, at this exact moment, $366 for one Bitcoin. What that means is, if we go back to 10,000 Bitcoins for a pizza, that pizza cost that guy that sent 10,000 Bitcoins, at that moment cost him nothing, because Bitcoins really had no value. But if he would have held those Bitcoins until today, that would be $3,665,000 for a pizza. Now, we're just getting started with Bitcoin. Some people might go, oh, well, the price is so high, that's, we've already lost our window of opportunity. Not even close. By the end of this, you'll understand the window of opportunity hasn't even really cracked open yet as far as the potential for Bitcoin. And we're going to show you with BitClub Network how you can even leverage yourself to where you can take this opportunity with Bitcoin and leverage yourself two, three, four, five, ten times as much. So that's what this whole thing is going to share with you. And again, I know a lot of you understand Bitcoin, but a lot of you don't. So I want to make sure that everybody's getting a clear understanding of Bitcoin. So, all right, let's jump back into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has now jumped up to where it's worth over $365 for a Bitcoin. But the potential for growth gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the reason is because Bitcoin can be sent in a way of value, like Joe's on here. If I wanted to send Joe $100 worth of Bitcoin, I would send him, you know, point whatever, like 0.27 whatever Bitcoin. And he would receive that instantly. And there's basically no fee attached to it. Um, I even sent $20,000 in Bitcoin a few weeks ago. Um, and my fee on that was 10 cents. So there's really no fee attached to it, like as if, as if I use Western Union or a wire transfer or PayPal. There's much, much, much larger fees. Or in Bitcoin, there's really no fees. Also, with PayPal and banks and Western Union, there's a central entity that's making those transactions happen. That's why they're taking their fee. In Bitcoin, it's what's called a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network. So what that means is there are literally thousands of people that have their computers hooked into the Bitcoin network that are making these transactions happen, and that's called mining. And the computers that are hooked to the network are called miners. So it's just learning some new lingo. And to give you an idea, there's a lot of mining going on. And for an average person like you or me to get involved in Bitcoin mining, number one, we'd probably want to be a programmer. And number two, we would have to buy a lot. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in computer equipment on the low end. So what's actually happened is a lot of people have started joining Bitcoin mining pools. Now remember, 25 new Bitcoins are going into circulation every 10 minutes, 3,600 new ones a day. That's $1.5 million going into circulation every day. And that's just one of over 500 different cryptocurrencies. And i got a bunch of different websites up here that I want to show everybody. We're going to go through a lot of different things here. So right here, I just want to show you guys cryptocurrency market capitalization. So Bitcoin's first on the list. There's 13.5 million Bitcoins, like I was talking about, there's the price. And so the market cap is just over $5 billion in market capitalization. Ripple has over $400 million, Litecoin $123 million. And you can go all the way down the list, and way down the list here, it's over 500 different cryptocurrencies. But really it's the top, you know, 100 that really have value. I mean, the top 45 or 50 that have a lot of value. And there are 25 coins that have over a million dollars in market capitalization. But all of these coins are run decentralized 
and new coin is going into the market every single day, and it's the people involved in Bitcoin mining that are getting that money. Literally, if none of us are involved, billions of dollars are going to go to people involved in cryptocurrency mining. That's just the way it is. It's been happening, and it's going to keep happening. And we all have a chance to get involved with that. So the average person, like I said, can't really do it on their own. They need to join a Bitcoin mining pool. And I actually pulled up here on Google, Bitcoin mining pools. And it brought up 523,000 different Bitcoin, well, stories about Bitcoin mining pools and links to Bitcoin mining pools. One of the largest ones is this company right here. They're called CEX. Io. Now, this company's been in business for about a year and a half. So far, they've mined 519,000 Bitcoins. So get your calculator out and do 519,000 times $370. It's a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. Well, this company has over 300,000 members involved in Bitcoin mining with them. They buy a Bitcoin mining contract, they do the Bitcoin mining, and those people that bought the Bitcoin mining contract are getting their Bitcoin every single day that's being mined. No difference from Bitcoin mining, gold mining, diamond mining, platinum mining. It's all the same. It's just this is internet gold, and it is worth a lot of money. Now, when I say it's worth money, some of you might be going, well, how's that worth money? It's worth money in a lot of different ways. Number one, I'm sure most of you on here have heard of Dell.com, like Dell Computers. Dell accepts Bitcoin. If you go on Dell.com and you buy a new computer, if you want to pay in Bitcoin, they'll even give you a 10% discount if you pay in Bitcoin. If you want to pay for your hotel rooms, you can go on Expedia.com. I'm sure most of you have heard of Expedia.com. And you can pay for your hotel rooms for anywhere in the world with Bitcoin. If you want to pay for plane tickets, you can go on CheapAir.com and pay for your plane tickets with Bitcoin for anywhere in the world. There are websites for buying cars, for buying houses. Anything you can think of is being bought and sold every single day with Bitcoin just we didn't know it was going on. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And again, Bitcoin's been around for about five years, and it's now up to 7 million users. So this is getting big. By the way, I had this site up a little while ago, blockchain.info. This site right here, this is actually the entire Bitcoin network in live, real time. And this is what's called the blockchain. It's also called the public ledger. So literally, you can watch every single Bitcoin transaction that's taking place anywhere in the world live right now. And in fact, there's another site I'm going to pull up. This one's called Fiat Leak. This is another good site. This is going to show you the world. And it's based on IP address. It's actually going to show you where the Bitcoin are going right now. And as you can see, at this exact moment, there's a lot of Bitcoin going to China. And in fact, over 70% of all Bitcoin transactions happen in China. A lot happen in the U.S., but most are actually in China. And just in the U.S. alone, though, there's over 100,000 businesses that accept Bitcoin. So my whole point in covering Bitcoin first is to get everybody to really understanding that this is a real true thing that's going on. You can even go to different sites like this one right here, anxbtc.com, and this is an exchange. You can sign up, get a free Bitcoin wallet. You can buy Bitcoin, sell Bitcoin, but you can also get a debit card. So you can spend your Bitcoin anywhere you want at any time. There's also Bitcoin ATMs that are just for Bitcoin. If you go to Coindesk, Put in your email address. You're going to get some news stories about Bitcoin every single day. But there's tons of great information on Coindesk. If you want to look at venture capital, which I haven't even touched on yet, but just in 2014 alone, about $300 million has been invested in Bitcoin startup companies. That's huge. Just for 2014 alone. And that's just from venture capital. That's not including just individuals pulling money out of their pocket 
and starting Bitcoin companies. There are thousands of companies that have started all based around Bitcoin. So that's what I mean by Bitcoin could end up being as big or bigger than the Internet over the next 10 or 20 years. And here's another little piece of the puzzle that we'll kind of put in perspective that really kind of got my attention. And that is, let's talk about landlines and cell phones. So phone lines and cell phone lines. The most landlines that there ever were, ever, were 1.5 billion landlines. Now with cell phones, more specifically prepaid cell phones, right now there's 6.5 billion active cell phone lines in the world. And it's not that those people couldn't afford a regular phone line. It's not that they didn't want to communicate. They had no access to it because of banking. And right now in the world, there's between 1.3 and 1.5 billion people that are banked or partially banked. That leaves another 5.5 billion people that are unbankable. That means they have to have all of their assets in their pocket or in their house. If there's a robbery, a fire, a tornado, a tsunami, whatever, they lose everything. Not just that, more people have cell phones with internet than have running water and have electricity in their homes. And you just heard that ding, that was fiat leap, there's things going. And, but they can't do any commerce. Even if they have cash, they can't do any commerce because they're unbanked. With Bitcoin, it gives every single person in the world an opportunity to, number one, protect their assets, and number two, do commerce anywhere in the world. And when I say, like, you can use this at tons of places, with just this company right here, gift.com, you can go on, pay with Bitcoin, and buy from 200 different companies a gift card and go and use it, whether it's Home Depot or Amazon.com or one of a couple hundred different places. And Gift is just one company doing this with gift cards. There's other ones that are focused more on Europe, other ones focused more on Asia. This is a worldwide thing going on here. And some of the richest people in the world, people like Richard Branson, he just put in over $40 million into Bitcoin and Bitcoin startups. We're talking about the richest, smartest people are involved in Bitcoin. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we can also start getting into other, oh, also the Winklevoss twins, they're actually starting a, a Bitcoin ETF on Wall Street. The symbol is going to be C-O-I-N. It hasn't launched yet, but it's very quickly. Well, actually, wait. Winklevoss Capital has launched an angelist syndicate that will broadly focus on tech companies. All right, so they do a lot of different things, and they're heavily involved in Bitcoin. If you don't know who they are, they're the ones that say they started Facebook, and it was stolen from them, and they won a $100 million lawsuit or something like that. And uh, now they do a lot of stuff on Wall Street. I'm going to close this so it doesn't keep dinging in my ear. And uh, so you can read about all these big things right here. Amazon, Walmart, Western Union, BitLicense uh, comments revealed. So there's so much going on with Bitcoin. It's big, 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 big. And if you look at remittance, when I say remittance, I mean that's people in one country sending money to somebody in another country. And whether it's a wire transfer or it's a Western Union or it's a PayPal, whatever it is, there's very, very, very large fees attached to it. And what I mean by large fees, I mean anywhere from 3 to 10% get taken. We're talking about $50, $60 billion a year in fees for remittance. It's massive, massive, the money that's getting charged for moving money around the world. With Bitcoin, it now becomes instantaneous with basically no fees attached to it. And there's other Bitcoin companies. Um, I got one. Where did, where did I put it here? Um, okay, this is one that's based here in the Philippines. It's called Coins.ph. These guys are really, really amazing. And let me see if I can put my info in here real quick. Actually, I'm not going to do that here. I'll do that here in just a few minutes. But on here, what's so awesome about coins.ph is that not only can I send Bitcoin, I can send cash, 
And they have 20 different, 30 different businesses all around the Philippines, like banks and money change places that are, like, there's one called Sublana here that's like Western Union. I can send cash from anywhere in the world, and somebody can go right there and pick it up. If they do have a bank account, I can send cash directly to their bank account with no fee using Bitcoin. I can even load, like if, if you have a prepaid cell phone over here, which most people do in the Philippines, normally you have to go to the store, buy a phone card, scratch it off, and then dial the phone, load the phone card. With coins.ph, I can just go right on there 24 hours a day. I don't have to leave my condo. I just put on what kind of card I need, the amount I want to buy, my phone number, hit go, and my phone's loaded with phone time. I mean, it's instant. It's, it's beautiful the things that are happening with Bitcoin all over the world. And again, we're talking about 100,000 businesses in the U.S., over half a million worldwide. And not only that, but ATM networks are picking up. It's absolutely awesome. Um, in fact, let me go here to this ATM network real quick, ATM map. And read, by the way, we're going to talk about BitClub Network. I just want to get through to everybody that doesn't understand Bitcoin, that Bitcoin is massive. This is going to change the world literally. So, excuse, be, be a little patient with me here. I just want to make sure you guys all really understand this. All right, so everywhere you see a little green dot here is a Bitcoin ATM. And you can see they're spread out around Asia. There's a lot of them in Europe, some through the Middle East. In the U.S. and Canada, they're all over, even in Hawaii. And some of these are deceptive. It doesn't look like there's that many. And if we like go in here to where Singapore is, Singapore's really tiny little country right here at the tip of Malaysia. But Singapore... There's a lot of money in Singapore per capita. There's more millionaires in Singapore than the rest of the world. I mean, it's, per capita, it's the most millionaires. But you see here in Singapore, little teeny weeny country, there's a bunch of Bitcoin ATMs already there. And it's only picking up speed. One year ago, there were no Bitcoin ATMs on the face of the earth anywhere one year ago. And now one year later, you can already see what's taking place. So Bitcoin is real, Bitcoin is massive, and Bitcoin mining, getting involved in Bitcoin mining, can make a ton of money. BitClub Network is the first and only company that's involved in Bitcoin mining out of the hundreds that you can go join right now, where if you want to refer someone, you're going to make some serious, serious money. And Joe's going to go through all of this here in just a second. Um, but I just want to get that through to everybody that this is a real thing. It's a huge thing, and it's only picking up momentum. And most of the people that are involved in Bitcoin that have put in millions and millions of dollars, their target price over the next three years for one Bitcoin is $10,000. And remember we talked about the cell phones and landlines. So the potential here for the unbanked 5.5 billion people to get involved. We're talking about billions of people that can get involved. If only 2% of the world's money were put into Bitcoin, one Bitcoin alone would be worth between $700,000 and $1 million for one Bitcoin. That's 2% of the world's money. It might take 15, it might take 20 years but we're talking about all of us being in at the very, very, very beginning. The same as if we were all seriously involved in the Internet 20 years ago. And if all of us knew 20 years ago what we know now about the Internet, every single one of us would be billionaires. Every single one of us. That's where Bitcoin is today. And if you want to build an organization and get paid on not just Bitcoin mining, but other aspects of Bitcoin, there's going to be more different revenue-making opportunities here as well. We'll cover a lot of these different things. BitClub Network's the only one where you can leverage an organization to monetize it through Bitcoin that exists today. Will something else pop up? Very possibly. But there's not that I know of at this moment. So we have something huge, 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 huge on our hands. And... Everything I've shared with you, I promise you, 
as great as it sounds about Bitcoin, you know probably 15 or 20 percent now. I guarantee you there's, it's at least five times better and bigger than I've even been able to convey to you with this you know, little bit about Bitcoin. So real quick, I'm going to turn this over to Joe, and I'm going to let Joe share with you guys the opportunity that we have here with BitClub Network because, again, there's no other money-making opportunity for the average person that, you know, being involved in Bitcoin out there anywhere on the Internet that I've been able to find or I've heard of. And most of the people I talk to on a daily basis, I mean, they all say the exact same thing. Like, this is sent from heaven. Like, we are so lucky. So, Joe, are you there? Make sure we still got Joe on here. I'm still here. I'm telling you, we're lucky to have Joe on here. Normally, this guy is leaving his house at 8 or 8.30 a.m. in the morning, going to do meetings, and literally he's doing, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight meetings a day, getting home at, you know, 11, 12, 1 in the morning, and then doing it the next day. He's already flown to multiple states, multiple countries, helping build his organization. I don't even want to get into how much Bitcoin, because we all get paid in Bitcoin. I don't even want to get into how much money he's made in Bitcoin so far, but I'm going to tell you right now, I mean, this is big, big, and we just got started. We're in the beginning of the beginning of this, and uh, so please take really good notes, pay very close attention, and uh, so Joe, please take it away. Hey, thanks a lot, Russ. I really appreciate your time, and um, we've always wanted to do something where we can all bring everybody that we know together in one place, and, and uh, we can all win. And that's, that's usually the, the biggest problem that we have with programs is that not everybody wins. And uh, for the first time in, in my, you know, a uh, little bit of uh, experience here, um, I found something that the average person wins. And when the average person wins, you get the guy who is, guy or gal who is a little bit more, and they win. And the one who does a little bit more than them, they win. And it's the ones who do just a little bit more than the ones who don't. They win big, and I and and I and I'm really, really uh, humbled and and excited. And I wake up and sleep, and I'm not sure what day it is. And I look outside; it's still dark. I wake up in the morning; it's still dark. I don't know what time it is some of the times, but you know what? It's so exciting um, traveling around the world now, uh, building this this company with the with the people I care about, and that's pretty incredible. Let's just start right at the beginning of Big Club Network. And Bitcoin mining. I talked a little bit about Bitcoin mining, and 25 new Bitcoin are going into circulation every 10 minutes, and there's sure. over 500 different cryptocurrencies. Somebody's getting that money. How can we get some of that money? By building the biggest, baddest network on the planet. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I tell everyone. I tell everyone. We're building a million man army, and it, it's men or women. It's just a million man army, and a million person army, and. Um, the faster we do it, the more we'll have a chance to be one of the largest networks on the planet who are not only just mining and circulating and, and, uh, and contributing to the Bitcoin economy, but the whole ecosystem. When you, when you look at Bitcoin, every new person, and, and, and I, I do this and people on the, on, on, the, on the webinar now have heard me say it, and I don't mind taking it away from you when I, when I have a, a presentation and we might, we might not agree on everything. And I, I don't mind when I tell you that when you buy more Bitcoin, if you join us or don't join us, I'm going to make more money when you own Bitcoin. And they just give me one of these looks. And some of them, some of them are, are, are smart enough to say, well, what does that mean? And then I explain that every person who owns Bitcoin becomes part of the Bitcoin bank. And every person that we introduce to it, we not only secure under GERD, Will we share in the wealth as the supply demand goes? One goes up, one goes down. One goes down, one goes up. Your dollar becomes weaker, uh, Bitcoin becomes stronger. Um, and so what we're doing is we're, every time we just introduce a new person, I tell everybody, what would it look like if we have a million people and everybody just spent $100 on Bitcoin? What about $1,000 on Bitcoin? What would that type of power look like? How much influence do you think we would have? You know, so, yeah, it's exciting times, my friend. Exciting times, Russ. All BitClub Network is is a Bitcoin mining pool. That, that's really all it is. If you want to get involved in Bitcoin mining, 
and you want to have your own Bitcoin mine, number one, you basically need to be a programmer. Number two, you'd have to spend a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the low end to get involved in Bitcoin mining. And so what's ended up happening is people said, hey, I want to be involved in Bitcoin mining, but I can't spend that much money, and I'm not a programmer to set it all up. Can I pay you to do mining for me? And that's how Bitcoin mining pools started, and we were just showing that here just a few minutes ago, that if you look up Bitcoin mining pools, there's over 500,000 of them. And this Bitcoin mining pool, cdx.io, um, they're huge, over 300,000 members. If you go over here to blockchain and scroll down and click on mining pool stats, this will bring up the biggest Bitcoin mines. And some of these are massive, massive. Ghash.io, that is CEX.io, same company. Discuss Fish, this is only for people in China. They don't let anybody join that mining pool unless you live in China. This one right here, which is the second largest, nobody knows who this is. It's completely anonymous and unknown, but they're making millions of dollars a week. Millions of dollars a week. And nobody even knows who they are. And then there's a bunch of these other mining pools as well. Again, joining these, you're going to get Bitcoin every day, getting a Bitcoin mining pool contract. But if you're first somebody, you're not getting paid any money. There's, there's just no money for you there. With BitClub, we are no different from any of those other mining pools. Well, we are a little bit different. But what makes us the biggest difference is that there's a lot of money going to go in your pocket if you refer people. So let's go through the different mining pools and the money you can make if you never refer one person. Because again, you don't have to refer anybody. You're buying a mining pool contract. And so, um, let's see, where is it at here? Where's the page I'm looking for? Hang on. Okay, here we go. So, no sponsoring required to earn from the mining pool profits whatsoever. So there's three different mining pools. You have mining pool one, it costs $500 to get involved with it. Mining pool two is $1,000. And mining pool three is $2,000. Every single day, BitClub Network does not just mine Bitcoin. They actually mine lots of different cryptocurrencies. They've actually set up software that have algorithms that search to figure out what the most profitable coins to mine are. They might be mining seven coins this minute, 15 coins the next minute, four coins the next minute, 16 the next minute. It's all over the place. And this is a site called Coin Wars. And it kind of goes through cryptocurrency mining profitability versus Bitcoin. But this is very limited information. This is basic info. These guys have developed where it goes even deeper to a lot of other different things. But you can see this one right here, Firefly Coin. It's the most profitable coin to mine right now, and it's 507% more profitable to mine Firefly coin than Bitcoin right now. Then you also have TerraCoin, TakeCoin, eMark that are more profitable to mine right now than Bitcoin. Now, I'm positive that there's probably about 10 other coins that are more profitable to mine than Bitcoin if you added a lot of other different information to the algorithm also, but... On this, this is very basic information. And you can get as deep as you want on this as far as looking at the size of the network, what the hash rate is. I mean, you can get really, really, really deep on all of this information. Let's go back over here. So, mining pool, you're going to get Bitcoin every single day. Day in, day out. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, what day of the week it is or anything like that, you're going to get Bitcoin every single day. With mining pool number one, you have to repurchase new mining equipment a minimum of 50%. And here's why. All the mining pools out there, you're locked into a certain amount of computing speed. As more and more people get involved in mining, the math, the like the difficulty to, to solve these math problems gets harder and harder and harder. So whatever speed you're locked into, you're going to make less and less and less and less and less. And someone that comes in six months from now that puts in the same money as you in one of the other pools, 
they are going to have much more computing speed that they are going to be getting that's mining for them because we all know that technology gets faster and faster and faster and faster. That's why none of us use the same computer or cell phone that we had five years ago. So to make it where everybody's getting an equal share in the pool, whether you join today or you join six months from now, everybody has to chip in to help buy new computer equipment. So mining pool one, you have to chip in at least 50%. Mining pool two, you have to chip in at least 40%. Mining pool three, you have to repurchase at least 30%. So that becomes a big deal with the compensation plan we're going to talk about in a few minutes. But here's the thing about this. I always talk about upside and downside. Like anytime you're looking at putting any money into anything, what's my downside, what's my upside? So let's just look at somebody coming in for all three pools. And there's also a $99 one time, which covers back office website forever. It's just one time. And for all of these, there's no more out of pocket ever. It's just one time. So if somebody came in for all three, you'd be in for $3,599. It's basically 10 Bitcoin. Let's just call it 10 Bitcoin, as if the price of Bitcoin was $359.90 for a Bitcoin right now. So we'll just say you have 10 Bitcoin for $3,599. If you put your $3,599 into a stock, pick whatever stock you want. If that stock over the next three years is mismanaged and it goes through the toilet, you could lose $3,599. If it's just a normal company like an IBM, Google, Gillette, or any of these other companies, over the next three years, what is your $3,599 going to turn into? Maybe $5,000, maybe $7,000, you know, what's your upside there? It's not, not a big despair, like you could lose $3,599 or gain a couple thousand. In Bitcoin, if you bought 10 Bitcoin right now and you just put them in your pocket, and you can't literally put them in your pocket, but if you just had 10 Bitcoin and forgot about them for the next three years, and Bitcoin does what most of the billionaires around the world think Bitcoin's going to do, and it goes to 10000 for one Bitcoin, your downside is if Bitcoin went just down, went to the toilet, you could lose $3599. If Bitcoin went to $10,000 for one Bitcoin, you'd have hundred grand. If you take that same 10 Bitcoin, same $3599, and put it into Bitcoin mining, then over the next three years, you can, you're going to have the same downside, but now you can end up having 20 Bitcoin, 30 Bitcoin, 40 Bitcoin, 50 Bitcoin, and if it goes to 10,000 a Bitcoin, you don't just have an upside of 100,000, you could be at two, three, four, five hundred thousand. 500,000. So the downside compared to the upside, there's just no comparison, and that's if you never sponsor one person in the program ever. That is what's so strong about Big Club Network, and that's what Joe was talking about. We got something here where every single person can win. And Big Club Network didn't just come up with this idea last week. This has been going on for years. Big Club Network's just the first one to put a networking opportunity attached to Bitcoin mining. So that's the way the whole mining pool works. And so, of course, a lot of you here are great leaders in network marketing. I know we have people on this webinar tonight that haven't just made $100,000 in a month, but have made a million dollars in a month. Those are the kind of people that are being attracted to this opportunity right now and are getting involved around the world. And so powerful, powerful stuff with what's going on with Bitcoin. And all this is, is Bitcoin mining. Also, as far as where the Bitcoin mining, where's the company located, Companies actually located in Europe. Most of the stuff um, is in Romania, and it's just mining every day. Romania has the cheapest electricity in Europe, and that's why it's in Romania. Um, the company, by the way, does not accept any form of fiat currency. They don't accept dollars or yen or pesos or any other form of fiat currency. They only accept Bitcoin and you're paid in Bitcoin. So as you can see, like here in this wallet, there's 103 Bitcoins sitting there right now. 
The value at this moment is $37,841. Now, yesterday, Bitcoin was up a little bit, came down a little bit today. Yesterday, it showed that there was $40,000 worth, but it was the same amount of Bitcoin. Where tomorrow, if Bitcoin goes up, it'll show more dollars, just because the Bitcoin's worth more dollars. So, I personally don't try and sell very much Bitcoin, because I believe Bitcoin is going up, 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 up. Same as if you had gold and you think gold's going up, you don't want to sell it. Bitcoin's the exact same thing. So I could cash out and sell some Bitcoin. Don't feel like doing that at the moment. I feel like letting it sit there, and I'm just waiting for the price of Bitcoin to go up some. But I could pull that out at any time I wanted to. As far as making money outside of the pools, let's run through the compensation plan. First thing I'm going to cover is the binary, but I just want to be really clear. The binary is the small money. This was only meant and set up to be a small infinity override. That's all this was set up to be. And so the 500 pool, if you sell one of those, that counts as one credit. 1,000 is two credits. 2,000 is four credits. If somebody came in and bought all three, that'd be seven credits. So those are going down your left, going down your right. I know most of you, most everybody on here is a networking professional and understands a binary. So I'm just going to be real fast with it. When you have 20 credits on your left, 20 credits on your right, you make 400 bucks. The most you can cycle is one time per day. That's it. It's just supposed to be a small infinity bonus. But on top of that, there's two levels of a $50 match. So somebody that you sponsor cycles, you're going to make 50 bucks. Somebody they sponsor cycles, you're going to make 50 bucks. No limit to the matches whatsoever. So very simple. You do have to sponsor one left, one right to get paid on the binary, but you do not have to sponsor anybody. Well, of course, you got to sponsor at least one person, but you can actually get the matches with only sponsoring one person. So if you sponsored somebody and they went to work and they started cycling and some other people started cycling and that was your only personal, you actually could still get those matches. You don't have to qualify for the match at all. So now let's go to the level up team bonus. This is the money. This, I'm going to show you guys, is going to get scary, and I'm not talking about me or Joe, but there's a sweet little 65-year-old lady in the organization that in her first month personally sponsored 43 people and with her organization made over $60,000 in her first four weeks. And her organization is only about 70 people and made about 60000 It's crazy the money that can be made with this compensation plan very, very, very quickly. So, all right, let's run through this. So, with Team 1, when you sponsor somebody, they're going to fall on your first spot in Team 1. You sponsor a second person, they're going to fall on the second spot in your Team 1. And in this, let me get my little marker here for a second. Give me a second here. This right here, you're at 15%. So if one of those people, they come in with a $1,000 purchase, then you're going to make 15%. Now, when I say $1,000, I mean the second they sign up, it's $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. You're going to get 15% of the amount of Bitcoin on the invoice. You're actually getting, in, getting Bitcoin. If the price of Bitcoin goes up, you actually made extra money, same as gold. If they sponsor people, you're not going to make any money on those people, but they are in your binary. So you will get paid on those people in the binary. Now, on your third, fourth, and fifth person, we jump into your team two. It gets a little bit bigger. So now you're going to make an extra 5%. So you're going to make a total of 20% on these three, on each one of them. So again, just keep... It's simple. You sponsor somebody, they came in for the thousand. You're gonna make twenty percent, which is two hundred, but it's not two hundred, it's two hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin at that moment. The price of Bitcoin goes up or down, you would have a little bit less or a little bit more in commissions. If the price of Bitcoin jumped and doubled, then really you made four hundred dollars because you got that Bitcoin. Now where this gets exciting is that on these people's first two, you're going to make a 5% override, 
but you're also going to make that on all of their first two, first two, first two, first two, first two, first two, first two through infinity, all of their first twos. That can add up to a lot of money very, very, very quickly. But now we're going to jump down here to team three. On team three, that's your sixth, seventh, and eighth personally sponsored people. Again, you're picking up an additional 5%, so 25% on these three people on their orders, but you're also going to get a 10% override on all of their first two, and so that's their team one. You're going to make 10%, and you're going to make that on all of their first two, first two, first two, first two, first two, through infinity. On their next three, you're going to make 5%, and you're going to make that on all of their first five, 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 through infinity. If one of these people over here, by the way, gets a third, fourth, fifth, you're still picking up 5% on all of their third, fourth, and fifth, and all of their first five, first five, first five, and that's on all of your sixth, seventh, and eighth. Again, just more money. But now we're about to talk about the youth money. Now we're talking about your ninth person on, and it doesn't matter if you sponsor you just one person, like your ninth, or if you sponsor a hundred people. From your ninth person on, it's going to work like this in this scenario, and I'm telling you, this is it's just crazy insane money. So on this guy that you sponsored, on his first two, oh, by the way, on this guy, you're making 27.5%. So 27.5% on his purchase. And on his first two, you're going to be picking up 12.5%. And Joe, help me out here real quick. What is 12.5% of 500 and what is 12.5% of 3,500? So 62.50. All right, 62.50, and then just do times 7. So 62.50 times 7 is 437.50. 437.50. So it doesn't matter, again, if you're 100 Y. On all of these people's first two, first two, first two, first two, first two, first two, through infinity, you're picking up anywhere from 62.50 to $437.50 on every single one of those first two, first two, first two, first two. On his next three, or on all of those people's next three, you're picking up 7.5%. And what is, help me out with that, what is 7.5% of 500 and 3,500? So of 500, it's 37.50. Okay, 37.50. And times seven? 262.50. 262.50. So, on, very all, powerful overriding. Yeah, so on all of your ninth people on, on all of their third, fourth, and fifth, and all of their first five, first five, first five, first five, first five, through infinity, you're picking up between 37.50 and $262.50. On this guy's 6th, 7th, and 8th, you're picking up 2.5%. And trust me, 1250. All right, 1250. All right. And one of my favorite numbers that I've seen so many, many times, 8750. 8750. All right. <laughs> so... Let me explain to you guys how powerful this is, because it's bigger than what you think. <laughs> so, for this ninth person's 6th, 7th, and 8th, you're going to pick up 2.5%, and you're going to pick up 2.5% on all of their 1st, 8th, 1st, 8th, 1st, 8th, 1st, 8th, 1st, 8th, 1st, 8th, through infinity. But on top of that, if this guy that you sponsored is a monster, and he goes out and sponsors a hundred people wide. 
you're still going to make 2.5% on every one of his personally sponsored people, and you're going to make that on all of those people's first eight, first eight, first eight, first eight, first eight, through infinity. So if you went 30, 40, 50, 80, 100 people wide, you're going to be making these overrides on every one of those people, and you're going to be making it on all of their personally sponsored people, like 2.5%. Doesn't matter if they sponsor 1,000 people. And on all of their first date, first date, first date. And I want to back up for a second. What's 27.5% of 500 and 3,500 real quick? It's $137. $137. I gave it to you already. Yeah, it's on top. You just got to add 100. Uh, I apologize, man. Okay. All right, 137. And then if they get, so do times seven for me. It's like not, it's 964, I think. 962.50. 962.50. So basically, from your ninth person on, you're going to be making between 137 and 962.50 on all of those people. Now, one thing I did not cover where I'm about to really, really, really blow everybody's mind. If you remember earlier, I said every single day when you get, get mining pool like payouts, you're getting Bitcoin, a percent has to roll back in. That is a purchase, repurchase, whatever you want to call it. It's a purchase. So if 50% or you know 40% or 30% rolls back in, that's a purchase. So if you have 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000, 10,000 people in your organization that you're picking up overrides on, you're going to be getting paid every single day on those people. It's easy to hear about it, but I tell you what, let's just go ahead and show it to you. So here's a wallet, and in this wallet, I want to show you guys a couple transactions. So on here, you can see I'm getting little bit amounts, 21, 9 cents, $2.35, 7 cents, 30 cents, 15 cents, 7, 30, 15, 6. You can see all these different amounts, but what you need to see is that there's 333 pages of them. And every day, not just me, but many people are getting pages and pages of commissions because we bring somebody in that buys a share of the mining pool, so they're going to get paid every single day if they do nothing. But also, I'm going to get paid every single day from the mining pool, from the repurchases. This is insane, insane, insane crazy money. We have literally tapped into a gold mine. This is a gold mine. It's only going to get bigger, and the value of the Bitcoin, the gold, is only going to go through the roof. And so this is us, powerful, powerful. Yes, Joe. Yes, and re remember that when a person has three shares, you know, you get paid, you know, a different amount for all three shares. And some of those shares, like you tell, you tell a networker who's been around for a long time and they put 500 people, 1,000 people, 10,000 people into a network and you ask them, wouldn't you like to just collect all the people you've ever worked with and get paid? a dollar from everybody or 50 cents or 25 cents from all your network. Yeah, exactly. Well, in our program, once a person joins, I'm going to get paid literally a thousand days on activity done and activity redone every single day. Yep. And when you look at that potential and, and then they're having the network, the streams are just incredible. Sometimes I, I, I complain, and I, I, hate, I hate being one of the complainers. I say, why can't we have this that way or that that way? I should be so grateful that I have hundreds of sheets to look at and people, and when I look at a day, there's 25 pages of times 30, and I, and I say, okay, well, that's a lot of payments in one day, and you, it, it, it's 30 cents, 20 cents, a dollar, 15. You know, you start adding up all these dollars, and you start thinking, wow, you make that every single day for the next 1,000 days, and then when those repurchases come in, you start adding another 1,000 days to the new 500, to the new 1,000, to the new 2,000, et cetera. Exactly. All right. So 
real quick, I just want to show one more quick thing. I'm going to show you some mining pool stuff, and I'm going to show you some marketing stuff, and we're going to take questions. All right, so on here, you can see different amounts. Um, there's even some people that we make over $3 on every single day. So they sign up one time, and then even though they don't come out of pocket again, we make over $100 a month on a single person every month. So let's just say if we averaged all this out, some people were making 20 cents, some people were making 9 cents, some people were making $2, some people were making $3. Let's say we averaged it at only 30 cents a day per person on average, and that's probably averaging it low. Um, if you have 1,000 people in your organization that you're getting paid on, that's $300 a day. That's $9,000 a month. And that's if not one new person joins. That's just residuals from the mining that's happening. If you have ten, that's one hundred eight. That's one hundred eight thousand a year. Right. If you have six figures. Exactly. If you have ten thousand people in your group, and you're averaging thirty cents a day, you're now talking about three thousand dollars a day, ninety thousand dollars a month, without one new person joining your entire organization that's just residual and here's the sickest craziest thing of all of this Facebook Google Yahoo Expedia name internet companies there's a million internet companies there are going to be a million Bitcoin companies that are all going to be huge the mining is only the first revenue stream for BitClub Network. The second revenue stream that we're about three months away from will be the Bitcoin, I'm sorry, the, the uh, Bitcoin ATM network. Companies already purchased one, kind of testing it out, seeing what kind of revenue can come from it. But that's going to be the second revenue stream that people are going to be able to buy into and be a part of a whole ATM network. And then there can be revenue stream three, revenue stream four, revenue stream five, revenue stream ten. There's no limit to the kind, to the different types of revenue streams. It, like literally right now, it's limitless in the possibilities for income with Bitcoin. It's it's really that big right now, and we're only at the beginning. I know this sounds massive, but this literally is just the first of many, many, many revenue streams. All right, so let's jump over here real quick. I, I, tell you, I apologize, I get going on stuff. All right, so let's jump over here to the mining pool. I know a lot of people are going, all right, show me the mining pool stuff. All right, so let's look at the mining pool real quick. So on this one, this has one of each pool, and you're going to see how much shares you have. So every day when you're repurchasing, you're actually getting more of a share. So mining pool one, I no longer have one share. I have 1.1934 shares. And I want it to build up faster so I don't, you know, pull out 50%. I have it set on 100%. And same with all mine. I want it to grow faster right now, so I just want to keep, you know, putting it back in, buying more shares in the mining pool. So in mining pool 2, I now have 1.0715 shares. In mining pool 3, I have 1.0627 shares. Here's what's important to understand about this. With one share, you get a thousand days of mining. So, so far, all of this has been based on 40 days of me being paid. So, in 40 days, I have made 1.61621 Bitcoin from the mining. From that, at times when I was pulling it out, I've actually pulled out 0.89 Bitcoin, so about $300 worth of Bitcoin already pulled out, um, but then repurchases, I have 0 0.72616 in repurchases buying back in to the mining pools. Now what's really special about this is again, we're going to go down here and look at this one share, there's 960 days. I'm repurchasing. Let's say it takes me 200 days, just using a round number, Let's say it takes 200 days for all of these shares right here. Oh, my pen won't go down that far. Let's say it takes 200 days for all of these shares to turn into another 
one full share. So those 200 days will go. So now over here at that point, I will have 800 days remaining on this because it will have counted down. And now on this full share, my 1,000 days starts. And let's say it takes another 200 days for me to get another third share. So now on this one, it won't be 800 days anymore. It will be 600 days left. And this pool will be down to 800 days remaining. And my new share that I just got would have 1,000 days on it. Now, how many times did I come out of pocket? I came out of pocket one time. But now I'm getting paid on three shares in the pool. And when this finally hits zero days left, that's okay. I stopped getting paid on that one. But now I still have four, five, six new shares that I'm getting paid on. And when one of those drop off, I still have six, seven, eight shares I'm getting paid on. So we're talking about people coming out of pocket one time and getting paid for years and years and years on Bitcoin mining. This is special. And again, it's nothing that BitClub Network invented. This has been going on for years. It's just the first time that you can leverage an organization with Bitcoin mining. And again, Bitcoin mining is only the first revenue stream of many, many, many revenue streams to come. Um, okay, a couple other things real quick. I'm going to jump back over here to the wallet. Something i got to cover for you guys real quick. Okay, when pulling out money. I've had a couple of people tell me, Russ, I tried to withdraw Bitcoin, and it won't let me withdraw. Okay, there's a reason for that. And this happens with every single Bitcoin wallet in the world. What the problem is, is that you have to leave 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, it's like a penny or two pennies, you have to leave that little bit in there for the fee. Again, I sent $20,000, the fee was $0.10. Cents. So whenever you withdraw, and you see right on here, how much Bitcoin do you want, never take the entire amount. If you want to take the entire amount, do 103 point one one and then do five seven four just leave zero zero one in there for the fee that has nothing to do with bit club network that is the bitcoin just fee that it, i mean it's minuscule it's tiny it's really nothing so again if you try to take every little teeny weeny bit out there's no fee it won't go through so just make sure you put that leave that little bit in there um so that was one thing what was the other thing oh by the way it is now set up that not only can you withdraw, but you can transfer money. So you can transfer from one, like if you have somebody that's joining and they want to give you cash to buy Bitcoin from you um, to buy more shares or whatever, they can do that. Also, it's set up where you can uh, purchase partial shares. So if you earn some commissions and you already have one share of the you know, 2,000 pool and you want to just buy $100 more of it, um, you can do that, however you want to do it. Totally up to you. Just and remember, when I'm saying dollars, understand we have people in the company from probably 40, 50, 60 different countries. Everybody has different currencies. I'm just used to my whole life saying dollars. But everything is in Bitcoin. The company does not accept dollars. They don't accept any other currency. They only accept Bitcoin. I can't stress that enough. Um, money. Asking about, number one, marketing system. Okay, so a lot of different things for marketing are about to happen. And let me explain what I mean by that. The website, the Club Network, is already done in Korean, in Chinese, in Russian, and it's already done in Spanish. German is currently being done, but all those languages are done in the next couple days. You're going to see all those languages up on the website with a flag where you can just click on the flag. And it's not just the front of the site. It's all the back office as well. So the entire site, start to finish, is completed in English, Korean, Chinese, Russian, and Spanish. Next, capture pages. Um, there's a couple capture pages done. Those are getting ready to be released as well, just waiting for the languages. 
And with the capture pages, there's also going to be a follow-up email system. So you will send people to your capture page. They'll have a spot for leads in your back office. Autoresponders will be going to those person, those people, the whole nine yards. Um, so yeah, that's up and running. And then as soon as that's up and running, then there'll be a couple more languages done, a couple more languages done. I would say, you know, within the next couple months, we're probably going to have this entire thing front, back, everywhere. I believe the company will have it done in over 20 languages. So we're going to have a true global marketing platform here. Um, huge, 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 huge. And, okay, so people are asking about the founder's pool. They have been working on so many different things. The founder's pool has been, has, it's being calculated every day. But the founder ones that are already sold out, they have to make it where it only shows for the founder ones. And that's the part that takes some time. And they've been working on so many different aspects of the site. It's not very much money. So even if it was there, it's not very much yet. As the company gets bigger, the founder pool is really going to be worth something. But it's really not that much right now. You're not missing anything by not seeing it yet. Don't worry. It's being calculated. You're not losing anything. It's just not showing yet. But it will. The Founder 2, there are still Founder 2s left. I'll explain that in just a second for new people. And again, it's the same thing, programming, so it just shows for the Founder 2s, not everybody else. And just the list of things that they're working on, it's on the list, it's just not at the top of the list. Again, it's not like you've lost out on even $5. It's not even that much yet. It's, it's, it's not very much yet. As the company grows, it will become a lot, but it's not yet. And if you guys are asking, like, what's founder? What's, what's founder two? Basically, a founder it was the first 500 people that got one of each of the pools. So they came in with the 500, the 1,000, the 2,000, and then also the 99, so 35, 99. And 1% of all the coin that's ever mined for the history of the company will be split between those 500 people. For the founder twos, it's the same thing except half of 1% is going to be paid out to the founder twos. And so... Let me give you guys also a breakdown of how all the money, all the coin, everything works. So for all the money that comes into the company, into BitClub Network, 40% goes out through the comp plan. Between 40 and 50%, depending, like they might spend more sometimes, more than 40% sometimes, if they need to you know, up it to get a good deal on something. But 40 to 50% goes to computer equipment, the mining equipment. And then the company runs on the, you know, between 10 and 20%. And then the mining, 90% of all the coin mine, that goes to all of the shares, split evenly between all the shares. So, you know, you have one share, you're getting one share of it. If you have seven shares, you're getting seven shares of it. So it's really that simple. So that's where 90% is going. 1% is going to the founders. Half of 1% is going to the founder twos. And then the other 8.5%, Electricity bills. It's insane, the electricity costs with Bitcoin mining. And so that's how the whole thing's broken down start to finish um, with the whole company. So I hope that makes sense for everybody. And again, there's probably about 250 of the founder two positions. And again, that's the next you know 250 that are sold. Or somebody gets the 500, the 1,000, and the 2,000, along with the 99, so 3599, and you don't have to get it that second when you sign up. So, I mean, you could sign up for 599 today, and then buy the 1,000 next week, and then the 2,000 two days after that. As long as there's still some available, you'd still be in as a founder, too. So, hope oh, that answers your question there, Richard. Um, but what's really cool is that with gift, especially for people in the U.S., you're talking about over 200 different companies that you can buy a gift card with using Bitcoin. And these are some of the largest companies in the world. So if you went directly to Home Depot, you couldn't use Bitcoin at Home Depot, but you can buy a gift gift card and use it at Home Depot, which is basically the same thing. And, again, there's over 200 different companies on here, and these are some of the largest companies that you've ever heard of that you can buy gift cards for. We're, we're building a freaking empire here 
This is going to be a multi, multi-billion dollar company. The mining is only the first revenue stream. We're just getting started. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Good night. I'm going to turn over to Joe, let him say his goodbyes. Hey, Russ, what an amazing job. I appreciate uh, your efforts and your energy. It takes a long time to become somewhat of an expert in this thing because um, the experts in our industry are not even six years six years in the making. Now, there, there's been programmers that have been around uh, the, the, uh, the crypt cryptography and, and script mining. They've been around for like, years, but when it comes to uh, Bitcoin, you know, it's a six-year-old industry. So the biggest expert you know is six years old or six years of experience. Um, we started talking about this uh, a, a bit before the company came about, and uh, it was really exciting to retrench ourselves into it. So, And um, you did a really amazing job today, and I, I think you gave great value to those who, um, who stayed on long enough to understand what was going on and how big this industry truly is. It's not about big club. Big Club is a vehicle to help you introduce Bitcoin to the world. And Bitcoin is the part that you need to be really excited about every single day because most people will never have a chance to change the stars they sleep under, let alone the zip code that they live in. And this is the chance where people are going to have the greatest wealth exchange in history. Thanks a lot for everything. All right. Thanks, Joe. Good night, everybody.